So just a note, uh, you know, a lot of times the reason we care so much about S3 is, you know, especially with respect to stimulation is in hydraulic fracturing, S3 determines which way the fractures are going to go. Right. And depending upon if S3 is the vertical stress or the minimum horizontal stress, it's, it makes a difference whether the fractures are going to grow vertically or they're going to grow horizontally. Right. And so, uh, you know, particularly when you're drilling a horizontal well, you, you want to drill in the direction of S3 so that when you, you know, well, you want to drill in the direction of S3, obviously, if it's a, if it's a, if S3 is the horizontal stress, right, the minimum horizontal stress. Uh, you want to drill in that direction so that your hydraulic fractures will grow away from the well. Right? And so if there's any concern that the vertical stress that you may be in a, a reverse faulting regime and, you know, you were to, you, you could just get um, hydraulic fractures that grow vertically just back along the well bore. And that sort of defeats the purpose of drilling a horizontal well to, to you know, through a, through a reservoir so that you can stimulate a lot of that reservoir. Because if you're just going to grow horizontal fractures back along the well bore, you're, you're, you're stimulating a very small part of the reservoir in that, in that scenario. So anyway, th the point is here, it's, it's really important to, uh, or in the, in the scenario when S3 is close to the ver vertical stress, make sure that you actually integrate the density laws and get a good estimate of what S3 is, or you know, an accurate representative of what the vertical stress is, right? So in this, this is in a, an actual field w that shows this where this line, this line here is the vertical stress and the dots are SH min recorded from leak off tests. And you can just see that they're very, very close to one another. Uh, this is the pore pressure over here, which is a little bit, so this is the hydrostatic pore pressure line. These are the actual pore pressure measurements. But in this case, you can see that the vertical stress uh, is a little bit bigger than SH min. So in this case, SH min is S3. But if you were to just um, use some estimate, like lithostatic estimate, then it'd be hard to, to know which one is which. Yeah. And it's pretty important if you're wanting to stimulate the well.